Hello kids, my name is Flo and I'm going to be your reading buddy and today we're going to read the book entitled A Bucket of Blessings by Kabir Segal and Sharista Segal illustrated by Jing Jing Chong. A Bucket of Blessings by Kabir Segal and Surishta Segal illustrated by Jing Jing Chong. Near a majestic mountain in a vast jungle with many mango trees lives monkey. It has not rained for weeks. The village well and the pond are dry. Monkey and his neighbors look everywhere for water, but no luck. Then monkey remembers a story his mama used to tell him. A story about how peacocks can make it rain by dancing. So he decides to climb the nearby mountain to visit peacock. But Peacock does not have good news. Oh, monkey, I need water to make it rain, he says. Can you find me some? Monkey is not sure, but he says he'll try. On his way back down the mountain, Monkey stops to cool off in a cave. Hidden inside is a spring. Monkey rushes to find a bucket. He fills it and heads back up the mountain toward Pika. Where did you find this wonderful water? asked Toad. Hidden inside a cave, says Monkey. And where are you taking this wonderful water? asked Rabbit. Back up the mountain to Pika, says Monkey. And what will you do with this wonderful water? asked Mungus. We'll, make, we'll try to make it rain, says Monkey. Finally, Monkey reaches the top of the mountain. He can't wait to show Peacock his bucket of water, but when he does, it's almost empty. Monkey is crushed. This leaky bucket is cursed, he says. But Monkey, says Peacock, look behind you. Yet Monkey is still worried. This beauty won't last if it doesn't rain soon. Monkey, says Pika, if you can make flowers bloom with just a few splashes of water, maybe I can make it rain after all. So Monkey pours the last drops from his bucket on Pika. Pika dances, Monkey hopes. Then the clear blue sky fills with rumbling clouds, and soon buckets of rain begin to fall. Monkey, says Pika, that leaky bucket of yours. It was a blessing to us all.